Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a rope in Blender. Uh, very low poly rope. So, uh, first of all, we have the we start with the cube. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to delete the camera and the light. We don't need that. Um, and then we're going to add a uh, let's see here. We're going to add a circle, and we're going to change the verts down to about eight. And let's go to the front view and rotate that so we can see it. And then I'm going to uh, go into edit mode and duplicate that and move that so it's aligned. Okay, and then I'm going to select everything and we're going to move that, duplicate that and move that down as well. And then we're going to select the whole thing and just center it so that way the origin is in the center which is important for our rope twisting otherwise we can't twist it so yeah make sure you move it so the little dot is in the uh, center of the whole uh, object there okay so now to reduce verts we're going to delete what we don't need obviously that's going to remain inside the rope so we don't really need to waste um, verts there. And then we're going to Alt M merge those at center. We're just going to merge these because we don't need two verts on all those. We just need one vert there. Okay, so we got all those merged. It looks like a, uh, I don't know, like a four leaf clover maybe. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to use that as our uh, the building block for our rope. Okay, so now we're going to do Alt C and we're going to select Curve from Mesh and that'll turn your mesh into a uh, Bezier curve as you can now see. And uh, now we're going to go to a side view and we're going to add, it's very simple, we just add a path and it's hard to see that path actually. So we're going to rotate that on that axis, there we go. And I'm just going to move it in line with that other object right there. See, so it intersects at the center point, that other object. Okay, and now we're going to select our Beezer path that we just created. Go over to our options here, and let me expand this so you guys can see it. Uh, change bevel object to the circle right here and then uh, we can select the object that we made and we can size that down, scale it down. Alright, then we can go back to our Beezer um, path and we can scroll down here, change the resolution uh, and you can see if you change the resolution it changes everything like that. Okay, so I'm going to use about 12. Might want to use more actually. And then we uh, select the last vert at the end here. And uh, we just do Control T. Oh, before we do that, we want to go down here and enable proportional editing. And then uh, Control T. And we can make this circle here large. Okay. Then we can basically twist it. I'm doing a horrible job at this. <laughs> right, so we can twist it. There we go. I don't know. Probably need more um, resolution on this. I'm going to pump it up to about 24. I'm going to zoom in here. Actually, you know what? Let me s try a different view. Let me try a 3D view. Let me get this out of the way here. There we go. Get more s room here. Let's see what the heck we're doing. Alright. And we should be able to twist this thing. And if not, you might want to subdivide 
a few times. Oops. Oh, and make sure you select the end object there. I don't think you have to subdivide though. Let's see. Let's try that again. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's working fine. Okay, I'm going to twist it here too. There we go. And that's a nice rope. You can see it's the low. Um, oh, the verts are. There's a lot there. Well, let's duplicate it and uh, let's convert it. And let's see what we're at. Okay, we've got a lot of verts. We've got um, 2,304 verts right now. So obviously we want to change the resolution. Maybe like 4 or something. Okay, duplicate that and uh, reconvert it. Yeah, see now we're at 792 verts, which isn't bad actually. That's pretty darn awesome. I was at about 500 on my other one that I made. I don't know how I made it. Um, it's probably a shorter rope, I'm guessing. That makes sense. But yeah, there's your low poly, um, low prim count rope. And you can texture it or uh, do whatever you want to do with it. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.